Here's today's mug shot from Vanessa's new merch, which I love. Then before work, I spent a little bit of time putting together our next book club, which you should definitely check out. So you can go over to Patreon. That's still there. It is like 8 p.m. Uh, today has been crazy. I feel like I'm just still coming off kind of a rough mental health week, so I'm trying to give myself some grace. I also had therapy today, so like, while wow, very important is not fun so worked all day did reels i'm doing so much video e video editing right now this evening because i didn't do it over the weekend so i'm catching up on that and then hopefully i'm gonna write um like later tonight but i'm gonna get some dinner now so i don't even know if i've filmed very much today but again we're still kind of playing catch up so <laughs> hopefully later this week i had to light a little bit of incense to mellow out from this monday and that's always my favorite way to set the right vibe. This is your reminder to drink some water. Whatever you're doing, grab a glass. Okay, so today is Tuesday. Obviously woke up, got to work right away. Um, and then I don't have too many things on my list today, which is great because we're actually going to see Six tonight, which is gonna be so fun. I've been wanting to see this musical forever. I've listened to like the whole soundtrack, but I did the lottery in Chicago. So like the day before you can enter in a lotto for like cheaper tickets. And we ended up with like $20 tickets. So no idea where our seats are, but we're getting to go super, super cheap. So we're going to Six tonight, which is super fun. I've already recorded my reels. I need to do some TikToks today. I'm like, still trying to figure out TikTok. And then I think that's it. Maybe hopefully I'll get like the final edits for last week's vlog, which will then go up tomorrow, all that good stuff. Uh, and then hopefully like writing. I did write another 2000 words last night, which is awesome because I'd been slow. So hopefully we're back in the swing of things there. And fingers crossed I'll actually get some writing done after six, but we'll see. And here is the world's worst coworker. Always sleeping on the job. Just so unprofessional. I don't always like dress to theme when going to Broadway shows. In fact, I pretty much never do that. Um, I did it for Moulin Rouge just because like that kind of aesthetic fits so well with kind of what I wear anyway. So I was like, it's Moulin Rouge, get a little like, dressed up, whatever. This lighting is very bizarre because I'm in my kitchen. What happens if I go over towards like the, is it more blue light if I go this way? Yeah, it is. All right, there you go. Uh, so I don't normally do that. However, if I have an opportunity to wear a puffy sleeve um, and a very like Berlin headband, I'm going to do it. So clearly uh, an opportunity that cannot be missed. And obviously, I feel like we just have to have a moment for the sleeves. Can we have a moment for the sleeves, please? Thank you. <laughs> had some of the most amazing vocal talents that I have ever seen in a show, but it probably wasn't my favorite thing I've ever seen. Finished the night with a little bit of a late bite with my best friend, and that really was a great Tuesday. This little guy did not want to wake up on Wednesday morning. We woke up super early to watch the Moon Knight season finale and he was over it. up until about 3 a.m. finishing Heavenly Bodies, which is one of the best things I've ever read, hands down, like probably one of my top favorite books of all time. And then I woke up at seven to watch the Moon Knight finale before work. So it is now 8.20 in the morning. I have like an 8.30 meeting in a couple minutes. So I'm going to drink my coffee, but like, I'm so emotionally destroyed by the books and TV shows that I love this morning.
Happy Wednesday. I was so excited to start reading A Promise of Fire this week. If you are not a part of our book club on Patreon, of course, I definitely recommend checking that out. It is so good. It was almost impossible for me to stay on track this week. I know a lot of people read ahead. I try to not because I know that like I write the discussion posts and I do a lot of the questions, obviously running the book club. So I find if I get ahead, it's really hard for me to go back in and then like remind myself, oh, hey, this is where you need to stop asking questions only for these chapters. But this book is so good, so I highly recommend it if you have it. shape and I do that every three weeks. I ended the day today with writing 4,000 words which was a ton for one day and clearly that really wore JB out. <laughs> Thursday morning was really chill. I took JV on my coffee run. Really not a ton happens today. I did a little bit of editing before work as one does. Um, today is bleach day in the Molly Tellus household, as you can tell, uh, which has taken up the majority of my evening. I've been doing a little bit of YouTube editing while I wait for the bleach to process, and then I take a shower, and then I go back there and do toner because, say it with me, ladies and like maybe one gentleman, there's no such thing as a one process blonde. You bleach, then you tone or color. Two steps, not just one process, two processes. Um, and I am a natural blonde. I just bleach it even blonder. Um, and even for me, two step process. JV just heard something in the hallway. Great. Yesterday, it is never a one and done process, so I sometimes tone a day later. And of course, I checked out this amazing Jane Austen Taro deck. This came from my good friend Lex at the Well Read Lex. Definitely follow her if you don't. It is amazing. Like, I thought my collection was pretty full, but I didn't have a Jane Austen Taro deck, which everyone needs. Clearly. <laughs> super excited because it is just about 3 p.m. on Friday and it is time to drop the Hakate cover. Sasuke killed it once again. I'm so excited. So obviously this has already been out, you know, by the time YouTube goes up, but I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited um we like posted the cover for Hakate like an hour ago and your guys's response has been so sweet i'm obsessed with this cover it's so gorgeous i can't wait to see it next to like nick's on the bookshelf it's gonna be so good uh it is now friday so um i need to actually i'm waiting on a dhl shipment and then um probably gonna 
This weekend was really chill. I don't think I left my apartment except to go get Dunkin' Donuts. The weather was actually really nice, so I did a couple of house things. I went through and tabbed my new physical copy of Heavenly Bodies. As you guys know, I'm so obsessed with this book. And you can see this is the aftermath of what photo shoots look like. Yes, that's a dress. And JV, again, like I said, really loved the weather. So I did a lot of house things like getting my patio ready for the summer, put up some flags, got my plants back out there, just little things. And I'm really looking forward to the summer. I don't always, but hung some lights out on the patio. So I'm excited to use these now that it's not actually going to be 40 degrees. <laughs> This was my Saturday night. I read a bunch of mythology by Edith Hamilton and jumped into a, The Starless Sea, which is my next read. Got a couple of JV cuddles and made a pizza. Honestly, best weekend ever. I'll see you guys next week.